And oh, from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game, we're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. And so the match is underway. Well, no stopping him. And a chance, Udegaard just cleared away in the nick of time. Well, whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfried Zaha, quite simply, you've got to be on your toes. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, we know his movement is very clever, but it's the speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems. He's got great pace, he gets 1v1 against the goalkeepers, and nobody can recover. Thomas Partey. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. But quick thinking defensively. No worries for the keeper. White. Gabriel Jesus. Not showing good patience. A chance to whip it in. And a poor ball. Jesus. And he keeps going, but ultimately up a cul-de-sac. And great work to confuse the defender. Wilfred Zaha. Can he put it away? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Alexander Zinchenko. Thomas now. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Terrific save. Played over. Now nothing comes of it. And well, they know they need to stop him. 
body on the line. No, not the best challenge. Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling, and they get the due reward. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Sheikh Dukure. So almost at the break here and not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stuart. Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. It should be. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdogan. Parse. Martin Erdogan. Well, racing past his man. It's there for him. Oh, magnificent reaction. And good pressure high up the pitch. Gabriel Jesus. He cuts it back. Great opportunity. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Delivering it. And he succeeds in scraping it off the line. He takes aim. Oh a, oh, a goal! And an own goal at that. Well, not part of the script, was it? Well, no question about this. As you can see, this will go down as an own goal. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He looks such a threat every time he gets the ball. And of course, he scored a very good goal. And the ball is running again. Palace left with a mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? Ducouré. Over the touchline for a throw-in. And teammates to play it to. Arsenal have possession again. And the emphasis is on creativity. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Are you? Eberechi Ezi on the ball. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball, which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far.
And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And that pass could be troublesome. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So back with the action, and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Ducouré, Eberechi Ezi on the ball. They've won back possession. Well, a joy to watch. Good vision from Gabriel Jesus. Crossing opportunity. And making the move to the inside, cuts it back, and diving to thwart him. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, they can keep possession now. 15 minutes left for play. It is a decent looking attack here. Defensive efficiency personified. Could be a chance to break here. Wilfried Zaha. Outrageously skillful. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. Oh, a nice looking pass. Can he put it away? Really good interception. And threading it forward. It's a neat move. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Nicely cut out. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Bukayo Saka. Keeping it moving dynamically. Will he find the net? Tremendous defending to stonewall him. And the referee blows for full time. It has gone awry for Crystal Palace and their supporters. No points for them. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor... Well, they know they need to...